Hi, welcome to the Coffee Chat Show here on Buzzing Pallia, the show where we talk about things that are happening right here, right now, as well as news and general tips and advice. All right, so before we get into today's show, please remember to hit the subscribe button, and if you'd like to be notified when we bring out a new video, please hit the bell icon. And today we're going to be talking about the tourism, because on October the 20th, on Tuesday, they are allowing the first wave of tourists to come into Thailand. And uh, we're going to go through that in a second. But before we do that, I just want to say again, a very heartfelt thank you to all of you who have been so kind to sponsor the show and buy us a coffee. Um, the response has been overwhelming and we are absolutely, genuinely thankful and grateful for your support. Because without that, it would make things very difficult for us. So thank you very much to all of you that have bought us a coffee. It really is much appreciated. All right, so today, Tuesday the 20th, we have our first batch of tourists coming into the country from China. Now, I don't, uh, how do I say this? Is it not strange that the place where this virus started are the first wave of people we're letting back in? I, I, I don't know, I don't know. So you're gonna have to help me on this and educate me because I'm not quite sure about it. But basically, the uh, tourism and sports minister is allowing the first batch of people to come in on Tuesday, and they have to go through 14 days quarantine, and then they can then continue on their holiday trip and stay in, I believe, Phuket. But my point being is this. Why, why would they come here and spend 14 days in quarantine unless they're long-term well, surely if you're long-term, you're not actually a tourist. Tourists are they not two weeks to a month? Is that not a tourist? So if we're attracting long-term, why just China? Why? Why can't we all have the opportunity to come here? Because let's face it, right now, Pattaya, Thailand, everywhere is absolutely on its knees and desperately in need of an income. And... He's predicting that by November, there will be 400 tourists here. I mean, seriously, 400. You can put more people than that in Insomnia or in, in uh, Lucifer's nightclub on Walking Street. So, you know, it's 400. It's not even going to make a tiniest bit of difference, in my opinion. I may be wrong. So, what he's saying is that also, if this is successful that they will then look at other areas and potentially allow other countries that have got a low COVID rate to come into the country. But again, that doesn't make sense because, okay, tell me if I've got this wrong, but if you lived in a high risk area, whereas there's a lot of COVID, surely if you pass the two week quarantine, does it matter? D -d does it matter? I mean, if you're from England for argument's sake, I know that England's going through another wave and it's going through a tough time. But surely if you pass the 14 day test and you have all the other boxes ticked, the paperwork, the insurance, etc., etc., why can you not come here? Why, if you pass that test, surely that is just locking down a situation that we really don't need to lock down. Because if you haven't got the virus and you're from China, what's the difference between if you don't have the virus and you're from Europe or America or somewhere else? Well, what's the difference? Help me. Help me, comment below, what, what's the difference? Because I don't get it. And the other problem that you've got is there is a huge unrest right now. There are thousands and thousands of protesters in Bangkok currently kicking off about the uh, political situation here. And I'm not going to get into that because I genuinely don't understand it. I've never been into politics since the day I was born and I will never be in until the day I die. So... I can't answer that, but I know that there are mass protests going on right now and that they've brought out a new ruling to say that uh, gatherings of five, <laughs> sorry, gatherings of five or more are uh, not permitted, especially if it's for political reasons. So I'm guessing they're going to walk up to a group of people and say, hey, uh, why are you here? Oh, you're here because of politics or you have to go home. I mean, anyway, this is Thailand. But going back to my point about the tourism, so... You know, do you honestly think that 400 is going to make a difference? Do you really think that it should only be China that are allowed back here if you're prepared to take out the 14 day enforced quarantine and you have the insurance and you have the certificate of, uh, of uh, safety, etc. and all these other things that they want you to have? Why? 
Why let 400 in? Why not let 4,000? Why not let 4 million? You know, why not let these people come in? Because right now there are people here that are starving, that don't have any income whatsoever, that rely solely on tourists. And if we're going to be really honest, let, let's be brutally truthful about the Chinese tourists. Well, they go to Chinese-owned restaurants, they go to Chinese-owned hotels, and they do Chinese-owned activities. You know, you go into the Patia uh, beach and you see them all parasailing out there. Well, who owns those? Hello? And when they go up and down Walking Street, why do they not get pushed into all these bars and all these stuff? Why not they say, yeah, go on, off you go, have a great time, and we'll meet you back here at a certain time? No. They are led through the street, they are kept together, and they're led back out the street to get back in their Chinese operated coach tours, to go back to their Chinese operated hotels and to go and eat in the Chinese operated restaurants. And a great example is the seafood restaurants out in the bay there. There's three of them, used to be two, there's now three. And they do three sittings, six, eight, and 10. And it's only Chinese people. So are we kidding ourselves by bringing these people in? Because all we're funding is, as far as I can see, are Chinese-owned tourist attractions, hotels, or restaurants. So where's, where's the benefit in that? Where does that possibly come into play? I don't know, guys. Anyway, that's enough for me today. Um, and I will say, <laughs> I keep getting battered by you lot. You keep telling me about Padia, Patea, Patea. You know, guys, come on, I'm from London. I say it, Padia. And I'm sorry if it upsets you. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry if it's not the right way. I'm sorry if it doesn't make sense, but... Come on, patea, 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 does it really matter? We all know what we're talking about. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please, if you would like to support us, there is a link down below about the buy me a coffee. Um, any support you can give us is really, really vital and helps. It really genuinely helps us. So thank you very much for your kindness and generosity. Please remember, hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to be notified, please hit the bell icon. All right, that's it from us here on the Coffee Chat Show here on Buzzing Patea. Have a great day. Thank you very much for watching and be safe wherever you are.